Give me five. Terrific. Hey, who wants to play, uh, anybody want to play a game? I do. How about, uh, follow the leader? You want to play follow the leader? Yes. Yeah. Okay, see if you can all do this. See if you can wink your eye five times. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Terrific. That's good. You want to do some more? Yeah. Okay. Now, here's what I want you to do. Everyone stand up in a line, and I'll go over here, and we'll play follow the leader. Come on, let's play follow the leader. Now you do exactly like me. First, stand up nice and tall. Come on. Let me look at you all. See, that's good. Now you look exactly like me. Okay, you want to do some more? Okay, here we go. Come on, let's play follow the leader. Now you do exactly like me. Put your hands on your head. That's good. Yes, that's just what I said. Mm-hmm. Now you look exactly like me. Okay, you ready for some more? This is hard. Put your hand on your eye. Good. It's not hard if you try. Put your hand on your ear. Our ear's kind of queer. Put your hand on your nose. You only caught one of those. Now you look exactly like me. Hey, that's terrific. Okay, here's some more. Come on, let's play follow the leader. Now you do exactly like me. Stretch your arms open wide. Steve, one at each side, right? Good. Now you look exactly like me. Wave your arms in the air, way up. Now grab hold of your hair, not too hard. Put your hand on your lip. Now grab hold of your hips, right down here. Now bend down to your toes, way down. Oh, you've got nine, ten of those, right? Now you look exactly like me. Hey, that's terrific. Want to do one more? Okay. Come on, let's play follow the leader. Now you do exactly like me. Sit right down on the floor. Everybody down. Because that's all. There's no more. Now you look exactly like me. Give yourselves a hand. That was very, very good. from the South Pole will perform for your pleasure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then, I found some salami and a big piece of cheese. 
and I mashed them down on top of the other stuff. And they stayed on there pretty good. And you know those twisted up things that have salt on them that are called pretzels. Well, I put a couple of them in there too, and some tuna fish and a black olive. And some oatmeal I didn't eat for breakfast. Let me think. And then I took the other piece of bread and I put it on top and I squooshed everything together under a big heavy book that is called a dictionary. And a lot of stuff came out of the sides and made funny looking marks on the tablecloth. But most of it stayed in there okay. Then I put the sandwich on the floor and I called Buster, he's my dog, who I made the sandwich for. And he walked around the sandwich and he smelled it a couple of times. Then he looked at me sort of funny and I said, go ahead, Buster, and taste it. But he didn't want to, so I tasted it myself. And he was right, it tasted terrible. So I took it apart and I put everything back where it was. Only I got some oatmeal in with the cheese and peanut butter on the salami. And I couldn't find all the raisins. And I ate the pickles. And my mother was very unhappy when she saw the stuff on the tablecloth and she asked me what I did and I told her. And she says, I can't ever make sandwiches again until I am six. But that's okay because Buster and I are going to use a telephone and just call out for pizza. Buster likes pepperoni with double cheese and so do I. And that's the truth. <laughs> on the scoreboard clock. Under the goalpost is the slow but steady Hardhead Henry Harris. The big question is, will Hardhead Henry answer his head ball question before time runs out? Your question, Hardhead Henry Harris, is this. Do you get bread at a laundry, a shoemaker shop, or a bakery? Uh, 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 let's see now, uh, do they make bread in a laundry? Uh, no, I, I, I don't think so, because, you see, a, a, a laundry is where they wash clothes. And why would you make bread where you wash clothes at? So I would say, no, no, they, they don't make bread in the laundry. So far, that's right. Uh, uh, do, do they make bread at the shoemaker? Let me think about that. Yes, hardhead Henry Harris will think about that. But does he have time? Should he hurry up and perhaps make an unconscionable mistake? Or should he take his time and be right and score a thinker? Back to the action. Uh, no, no, no. They, they pick shoes at the shoemaker, so why would they make bread there? Uh, no, no, I don't think they make bread at the shoemaker. That's right, too. You are almost at a thinker. Move on. Move on, indeed. But will there be enough time? Will HHH change his style and rush to the finish? Or will he continue to slowly but surely use his head? Uh, I'm, I'm going to slowly but surely use my head. Now, <clears throat> uh... If they don't make bread at a laundry and they don't make bread at a shoemaker's, then the only question is, do they make bread at a bakery? Oh, uh, well, bread is baked. Yeah, that, oh, that's right. That, that, that's the way they make bread. They, they bake it. A bakery is where they bake things, like bread. So the answer is, yes, a bakery is where you make bread. 
just before time runs out, you have scored a sink up. Absolutely correct. It is indeed a sink up. I already said that, Shower. Franklin Roosevelt, my humble apology. Those about Franklin. Of course. Long time ago, the king tore his royal pants. It was a royal emergency. What a predicament. Luckily, a small spool of thread was nearby and offered to help. I'm so tough and strong, the thread said. I'll patch your pants. I'll hold your royal rib together. He went back and forth and he tried and tried, but nothing seemed to help. Oh, my. Meanwhile, a needle, seeing that the thread was getting absolutely nowhere, said, I can do better than that. I'm so sharp. I can go through anything. I can go up and down and in and up. And he did, and he did again and again, but he couldn't help either. What a dilemma. Just then, the king said an amazing thing. He said, oh! Little needle, little thread, you're so sharp, you're bright, you know what I'd appreciate if you would cooperate. And they did, they sewed and sewed and fixed his britches, and to this day they still keep everyone in pieces. <laughs> Another flower. 
Yes, indeedy, David. Did you hear what I said? I said, yes, indeedy, David. David did it again. You have two flowers plus one flower is three flowers, Dad. <laughs> Can't fool me. Three flowers. Okay. All right. Wait a minute. We got flower pots and we got soil. Flowers. What else makes flowers grow? Oh, yeah, 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 water. Hey, tell me something. Anybody know where I can get some water? Huh? Danny dear, oh, Danny dear, do dogs change ears? Do ducks have ears? Do dragons step? Why do ghosts stay far? Do ghosts are dressed up in the dirty clothes? Dogs do repeat, and the dreams are delicious. Ducks do have ears, but they don't do the dishes. Gophers stick holes to hide the candy bars. Dragons don't dance, and they don't smoke cigars. Daddy dear, oh daddy sweet, do dandelions roll? Daisy has feet, may I have a drink of water and a dish of fat ball? Daddy how deep is the donut hole? Dandelions roar, and daddy is deaf. The daisies drank the water, so the task holds. Left your eyes a droopy darling daughter, and you're dizzy in the head. The toads are eating dinner, so it's time to go to bed. Little darling. Wait a minute. Hold up your arm. Eric! Hey, what? You do not have any fur. Oh, that's because I'm a big person. I'm a little boy. You do not have any fur, Eric. What is that stuff on your arm? It's skin. Skin? That's like fur, but just not as hairy, huh? Oh, well. We'll be perfect. Oh, it's so cute. We've got a card yeah. from Aunt Mary. Isn't that nice? We got a letter, huh? Oh, no, we got a card. It's our anniversary. It says, Happy Anniversary from our Aunt Mary. Today's our wedding anniversary. Yeah. Today? Yeah. Uh -huh. Your wedding anniversary? That's right. Oh, geez. Uh, what's our wedding anniversary? <laughs> <laughs> well, Big Bird, you see, uh, a wedding anniversary is kind of like the birthday of the day you get married. Oh. Yeah, you know, 14 years ago, Gordon and I got married, and we got married right here on Sesame Street. Oh, you did? Yeah. Well, why wasn't I invited? Well, you weren't born yet, Big Bird. <laughs> oh. Good reason. Well, right? yeah. That would have been tough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but what was it like? Oh, Big Bird, it was wonderful. We got married right over there in the arbor, and I had on a pretty wedding dress, and, and Gordon had on a Nice blue. Do you remember who else was there? Well, Sully was playing the organ. And Biff was there, Mac, Willie, Maria. And oh, yeah, believe it or not, Oscar. I don't believe it. Say, Susan, what do you do at a wedding? What happens is that you make promises to each other, and there's someone there who helps you. Gordon and Susan. Before you become married, I'd like to say a few words about what marriage means. <laughs> it means living together and sharing each other's lives and caring for each other. Oh, brother, is this going to get mushy? Oh. Through love and consideration, you can make a good life for each other. <laughs> this cry through the whole ceremony. The good life. What about the yucky life? Hey, don't you want a yucky life? Oscar. Oscar didn't keep his mouth shut the whole time. What about the promises you made? Gordon, do you take Susan to be your wife and promise to love, honor, and cherish her as long as you both shall live? I do. And what about do. Susan? Didn't she promise? Do you take Gordon to be your husband and promise to love, honor, and cherish him as long as you both shall live? I do. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You're married. Congratulations. Oh. You may now kiss. <laughs> oh, yeah. Kissing. Mushy stuff. 
This is terrible. What do I throw the shoe? Hey, why are you crying, Dad? Oh, because it's so beautiful. <laughs> Hey, Gordon, Susan, I've had a wonderful time, but this wasn't it. And that was our wedding. Oh, that was really nice. But I do have one question about it. Oh. What's that, Susan? Well, you know the man, the uh, justice of the peace? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and he said that you could kiss? Yeah. Well, do you still have to get his permission? <laughs> no, Big Bird. Not we can we can kiss whenever we want. To. That's right. Oh, wow. Happy. So that's what Mary did. Oh, wisest of the wise. Oh, brainiest of the brainy. Yes, what is it this time? Uh, could you explain the difference between here and there? Piece of cake, piece of cake. Now, uh, listen carefully. Mm -hmm. This television set is now here. The TV set is now there, away from us. Oh. You understand now? I, I believe I do. It works with anything. Just watch. Really? Yeah. And sofa, here. Uh-huh. There. Well. Kitchen sink, here. Mm -hmm. There. Yes, oh, well, now I understand perfectly. <laughs> Table, here. Oh. There. Yes, I... I uh... Listen, I, I get it. Uh, thanks a lot. Look, goodbye. <laughs> nice guy. Slow runner, but a nice guy. I am here. You are there. But you are here when you say here. And I am there. And when you say there, what you mean is, I mean here, when I say here, is that perfectly clear? I ain't complaining, but it don't make sense. It's just a mystery, I guess. It's gonna take every ounce of my concentration for me to straighten out this Longer, I'm bound to see the light. So I'll try, try again to get it right. Now I am here. Yeah, that, that's cool. And you are there. Are you sure? But you are here when you say here. And I am there. Now hold, 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 hold. When you say there, uh -huh. what you mean is here. That's it. And I mean here, when I say here, oh, I'm digging my beer. I think I understand it's all so clear. How could I ever have gone wrong? It seems as easy now as ABC. I fall in. Much better, I finally see the light. Cause I tried, tried again to get it right. Oh, Paul. Time for dog training. You stay here, I'm going there. Now I'm here, and you're there. Now, I'll go there. Now, I'm here. You go there. Go there. Why won't you go there? Well, it's really very simple. You're standing on my tail. <laughs> oh, goodness. Look at the wolves. <laughs>
bad news? You say you want to make the swim team and you need our help? Well, hold on tight. Everything's going to be all right. I'm Billy Joel Jai, super crime fighting ace. Me and my partner, Smart Susie Sunset, are on the case. We caught up with bad news Barton at the gym where he was trying out for the swim team. Okay, bad news. Get in there with the others. Let's see you do your stuff. Okay. On your mark, get set. You better try out for the wrestling team. Swimming isn't your style. Bad news, I've got an idea which will help you make the team. What did you have for lunch this week? Well, on Monday I had 10 candy bars, and on Tuesday I had four apple pies, and today I had six chocolate brownies, three candy bars, and two apple pies. Now, bad news, you want to make the swim team, don't you? Right. And to make the team, you've got to lose some blubber. Right? Right. Apple pies, candy bars, and brownies are no way to lose blubber. What you've got to do is change your eating habits. You have to eat more fruit, nuts, and vegetables, as well as milk and meat. You know, Sunset, we haven't seen bad news for three weeks. I wonder how he's doing with his new diet. Isn't that bad news coming down the street? This apple show is good. Hey, I made the swim team. And look, no more candy bars, brownies, and apple pies. Well, another case wrapped up by the great team of Sunset and Shine. Oh, the sunshine bright on my old Kentucky home. Hi, Big Bird. Hi. I thought I heard music. Yeah, you can't beat Stephen Foster. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just learning to play on my little toy piano. Oh, yeah? Yeah, some people play by ear, yeah. but uh, I'm learning to play by beat. Oh, Bird. <laughs> oh. You know, when I was younger, I used to take piano lessons. And I would imagine myself playing on a stage yes. in front of an audience. Oh. oh, yes, I used to imagine that all the time. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh. When I was little, I wanted to be a, a concert pianist. Do you believe yes. that? I could just picture you being a concert pianist. Oh. Hey, let's imagine that now. Oh, big bird. Oh, come on. It's been so long. Oh, no. We'll just uh, put our heads together and just imagine. Okay. We really were a concert okay. pianist. Uh, great. Oh, 
jumping rope, and there's one kid reading. Well, I guess he's doing his own thing because he's reading and the other three are jumping rope. Yeah, he's doing his own thing. Did you get it? And now, here's a live report on homes around the world. Some are large. Some 
are small. Some keep out the cold. And some let in the breeze. They all keep out the rain. Home is a place to find peace and joy. To eat and sleep to call your own and raise a family. There's no place like it. You see this old shoe? Yeah, and these tin cans here? My tin cans. Yeah. Well, they sure bring back a swamp load of memories. Yeah. This is the shoe, and these are the cans that I tied on Susan and Gordon's car at their wedding 14 years ago today. No kidding! Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of got me thinking, too. <laughs> About me and you. Me and you? Oh, yeah. I mean, me and you getting married, that is. <laughs> you wouldn't want to get married, would you? No! Huh. Would you? No. Huh. Well, in that case, maybe I would like to get married. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Are you kidding, though? You know what it would be like? Yeah, I got a pretty good idea. An old-fashioned grouch wedding. Oh, I can imagine it now. Mm. keep their mouths shut the whole time. <laughs> All right, so not yet, huh? I got to marry you first. Asking Grandetta, before you get married, I'd like to remind you of what being married means to a grouch. It means you will live together and argue a lot. Right, well, sounds good to me. <laughs> so beautiful. <laughs> You'll share your trash love each other grouchily forever and make yucky lives for each other. Well, Jen, have a promise. Yeah. Well, Jen, have a promise. All right, all right. Yeah, all right. Ask you, do you take Grunjetta to be your wife and promise to give her a hard time as long as you both shall live? Yeah, why not? Grunjetta, do you take Oscar to be your husband and promise to give him a hard time as long as you both shall live? A hard time, huh? You bet I do. I now pronounce you grouch husband and wife. Yeah. You may now Hey, 
you know? That's not bad. And we would get to keep all the trash that they throw. So, what do you say? Let's get married. Nah, I thought it over. I don't want to. Uh, yeah, come on. Nope, never. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yeah. This is final. No. Yeah. Hey, listen to us. We're not even married yet, either. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. I specifically said no. I, I can't wait any longer. My work is almost finished. Wake up. We must continue your lesson. <laughs> now listen. Your name is Red. Fred. Red. Fred. Fred. Good. Good. You understand? Now say, but, 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 but. <laughs> oh, very good. Try another one. Friday. Friday. Friday! 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 Excellent! That's it. We're finished. Can you understand every word I say? Yes. Fred? Yes, Master? You've been standing on my foot since Friday! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, 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 yes,